Hey guys, this is Connor. So this is going to be the first in a series of videos that is going to predict the 90th Academy Awards, which are taking place March 3rd. I think that's just around 24 days from now, so hopefully if one a day comes out, roughly, then it should match up pretty well. So here's what I'm going to, to do. I'm going to go through each of the 24 categories and well, one category per video. And in each video, I'm going to go through the five nominees and rank them from least likely to win to most likely to win. Okay, understand? So, the first category we're going to do is probably the easiest category to predict this year, Best Animated Feature. Here we go. Fifth most likely to win, The Boss Baby. So this was kind of a surprise nominee for a lot of people. Some people were predicting it, but it mostly came out of left field. Now this is an interesting film because uh, I have not seen it myself, but it, it has a rotten score on Rotten Tomatoes. And films with rotten scores tend not to win Oscars. Well, Suicide Squad maybe, but this is a movie that is being judged just as a film, as a best animated feature, not for any particular part of the film. And to be fair, this movie does have a series of fans. There is a small fan base of people that like this film. Good for you. I haven't seen it. I probably will see it eventually because it's on Netflix. But this movie, um, yeah, it's not going to win. They're not going to give best animated feature to a movie with a rotten score on Rotten Tomatoes, especially one... That is already pretty divided. This one was just lucky to be nominated. Okay. Fourth most likely to win, Ferdinand. Now, I was actually pleasantly surprised by this film. I saw it a couple weeks ago. Um, it's a kid's film, but it works for what it has to do, and it has a good moral, which is one of the best things you can have in a kid's film. The animation's nice. Honestly, it's probably the best blue sky film that they've ever made. Um, with that said, it's not going to win the Oscar. Um, even though it is a good film, it's also a very childish film. It's a very juvenile film. And seeing how the Academy voters are all adults, they'll try to vote for things with a little bit of a mature edge to them. So I don't think Ferdinand is going to win. Third most likely to win, Loving Vincent. So this is a one-of-a-kind film. If you don't know, this movie... Every single frame of this film is hand-painted to look like one of Vincent van Gogh's paintings. And it really is an amazing sight to behold. Um, it's a beautiful-looking film. However, a lot of people have expressed concerns over the film's plots. They say the story is not very good, the editing, the direction. People have issues with that aspect of the film, even though everyone agrees it looks amazing. And I don't think this is going to win. I think it'll get a couple of votes because people will just admire the achievement. But I think when it comes to the full package, the film as a whole, I don't think this is going to get nearly enough votes to win. Okay, second most likely to win is The Breadwinner. This movie is a G-Kids film, and G-Kids has a tendency to get on for a lot of smaller films like A Cat in Paris or Ernest and Celestine. Was that them? Uh, well, they did, a, they did A Boy in the World, I think, from 2015. They get on a lot, is what I'm trying to say, for a lot of lesser-seen indie 2D animated films, which is what The Breadwinner is. And it's a shame, because people say, I have not seen this yet, um, but people say that it's very, very good. It's PG-13, so it has a little bit of a, a mature streak to it. Um, unlike a lot of animated films that are nominated. And people say it's good, it's emotional, it tells the story of a young girl who has to disguise herself as a boy in order to get work for her family. Um, I've heard a lot of really good things about it. It's not going to win purely by the fact that, one, a lot of people haven't seen it, and two, it's just, it's just not their year. Like, G-Kids, for a while, it's like they've always been... Getting up, G Kids have had a, a string of animated films for a while that keep getting nominated, and they're like, one year we'll win. One year the competition will be very minimal, and we'll be able to win an Oscar. And it almost looked like it could be this year. 
like the the it's number two. I ranked it high enough, and people like it. And the year is fairly weak for animated films, so it almost could have happened, except for number one. My predicted winner uh, to win the category of best animated feature is Coco. So I know a lot of people like to complain about oh Pixar and Disney they win this award every year, and I understand why people have that complaint, but at the same time, there is a reason why they win this award every year. Their movies are always really good, and yes,、yeah, some of the times you can argue about whether or not they truly deserve to win in a given year, but this is not one of those times.、Um, Disney and Pixar have crafted a truly amazing film. It's beautiful. It's awe-inspiring. It's emotional. It's funny. It's everything you want it to be. It does make me a little bit upset because this is the third year in a row, following Inside Out and Zootopia, where there is an animated film that is so amazing and mature and really great, that really should have been in the Best Picture category and wasn't. Like I don't know what it'll take to make the Academy finally see the light of day, but animated movies are movies too, and this film I feel definitely. Should have contended for best picture. I would even be okay if it won best picture. I it's my favorite movie of the year, but I understand the day is not today. But it'll come eventually when an animated film will seriously contend in the top category. So、um, even though we've had three nominated already, but the Academy doesn't want to do that again for some reason. Okay, so with that being said. Coco is hands down the front runner. It is beloved.、Um, everyone has praised it. It's won everywhere already. It's won the Globe. It's won Critics' Choice. It swept the Annie Awards. It won literally every single award it was eligible to win there. So, if anything other than Coco wins, I would be shocked. I would be just absolutely shocked. The breadwinner is the only one that has even the smallest chance, I'd say. Maybe a few votes will go the way of Loving Vincent, but I don't think anything else is going to win. This is hands down an easy choice. Coco is going to win Best Animated Feature. So、uh, thank you all for watching,、uh, and tune in tomorrow when I give my thoughts on Best Actor. Thanks for watching.